Welcome everybody to uh, part three in the uh, What's in the Knife Case series. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at uh, 10 knives from the knife case. Uh, so let's get started. I would like to start out uh, this uh, episode with a trio of Texas toothpicks. And this is... Uh, Sometimes referred to as a Texas toothpick. Uh, this particular one has no maker mark on it. I'm not certain who uh, made this. Uh, it's got a very cool uh, handle with these stripes. Uh, a lot of these had uh, quite ornate handles on them. It's uh, also got a well-used blade, a well-sharpened uh, blade. Uh, carbon steel, cool knife. These two here are, uh, are marked and they are Hammer brand and they have the Hammer brand logo with the uh, USA on the side. So these would make these from somewhere from the year 1945 to maybe up to 1955. So these are post-war uh, knives. Again, they have the, uh, the ornate uh, handles on them. So there you have it, a trio of Texas toothpicks. The next is a rather unique knife. Uh, this knife here was brought home from the Korean War by my father as a souvenir. I don't know much about the history of it. Uh, it has no marks on it, so I'm assuming it was... Uh, uh, handmade over there, some sort of uh, bone or antler handle, kind of a unique shape to the to the blade, a uh, little, little guard on there, um, does not fit my hand very well, uh, it's a rather small handle, came with this, uh, I believe it's an original leather uh, sheath, which is in Remarkably good shape considering its age. So there you have it, a uh, soldier's uh, souvenir from the Korean War. We have another trio of knives here, antler handled uh, fixed blades. Um, I'll start with this one here. This one here is a... Uh, Handmade knife. Uh, I picked this up up at Old Fort Niagara at a French and an Indian War uh, encampment. Um, don't know a lot about it. Uh, antler handle, um, carbon steel blade. It has a rather thick blade. Uh, it's quite a stout knife. Holds an edge very well. The next knife here is uh, another antler handled knife, uh, carbon steel. Uh, this knife I do know a little bit more about. This one was made by our late friend Matt. Uh, Matt made this knife and I won this knife. I won this knife uh, in an archery contest, so I'm quite proud of it. It's a beautiful knife. The uh, curve to the antler fits your hand just right. And uh, the blade length is to my liking. It's a nice little hunting knife. And the last knife here, the last uh, in the trio here, is another handmade knife. This knife was uh, also made by uh, my late friend Matt. Antler handled, has a stainless steel blade. A um, little bit of file work up here, uh, curved, curved to the handle, fits your hand just right. This knife holds an extremely sharp uh, uh, edge, and I, I think you've seen this in, in some of the hunting videos. Uh, the leather sheath that it comes with was made by uh, our late friend Richard. Richard Zawagi, leathersmith, and... Uh, 
it fits the knife just perfect. Um, has uh, Richard's uh, logo on it, the Z with the arrow. So there you have it, a trio of antler-handled knives. The uh, next knife I want to show everybody came in its own wooden box. Uh, and this is a uh, charade, uh, charade uh, Damascus. This is a Damascus folding uh, lock blade. Now this is a, an older one. This was a charade and it was when it was charade was made in New York, in uh, I believe Ellenville, New York. I'm guessing this was probably from uh, oh the 1980s, maybe. It came with this uh, tooled leather uh, belt sheath. Beautiful, nice uh, sheath that came with that knife, and it also came with this little. Uh, little booklet here, a little bit about the knife, uh, a little bit about the history of Damascus steel. And in this uh, little uh, brochure, it says that uh, Damascus steel, the handle is extremely dense Mexican rosewood, one of the most beautiful and durable natural handle materials used by custom knife makers. Uh, coined into the nickel silver bolsters for the first time ever is the new charade hallmark showing our corporate symbol, um, the charade forage, forager, and the letter A indicating the year of manufacturing. Uh, each knife was accompanied by a custom tooled leather sheath. It says only 2,000 of these, uh, Damascus folding knives were made. So there you have it, a uh, kind of a cool collectible. Here's a little uh, bonus knife to show everybody. Uh, this knife was, this little knife here was made by the Barlow Company. And in the uh, handle, there's a uh, buffalo herd scrimshot on one side. And on the other side, there's a, a lone buffalo. Stainless steel blades, uh, a Barlow uh, pen knife. And for those of you who like a, a little more modern looking knife, uh, this is a Spyderco. Uh, has a serrated uh, edge on it, uh, lock blade. Stainless steel, has a uh, clip uh, for your pocket. This knife is scary sharp, uh, and I mean that. <laughs> it is scary sharp. Uh, it is extremely, extremely sharp and a well-made knife. You can feel it uh, when you open it up, uh, that it uh, snaps right into place. It's a nice knife. Well, that'll wrap up uh, part three of What's in the Knife Case. I hope everybody enjoyed kind of looking at some of these knives. Uh, you'll notice that a lot of them, uh, almost all of my knives uh, have been used. There's no closet queens in them. They all, uh, they all show uh, signs of use. I use them for what they're intended for. I enjoy them. Um, and uh, hopefully uh, maybe you see something in one of these videos that... Uh, Either you have at home or maybe uh, you learn a little bit about a style of knife or uh, maybe you see something there and you go, boy, I'd like one of those. So uh, it's a great uh, hobby, collecting knives. I encourage everybody to uh, uh, do something similar. So until next time, everybody, take care and uh, thanks for stopping by.